All right, so now that we know what a Pythagorean identity is, we're just going to jump into solving some of these questions. Um, all right, so if sine theta equals 0 0.4 and theta is between 0 and 90 degrees, find cos theta. All right, so first of all, sort of what's the question asking? Well, we've got a unit circle. We're in quadrant one. We're in quadrant one. And there's some angle, I don't know what it is, um, but the y value, so it must be a bit like this. There's some angle there, uh, and sine of that angle is equal to 0 0.4, which you would know is the y coordinate there. We're going to find the x coordinate here, which will be cos theta. Okay, you don't really need to draw all of that. I just sort of wanted to talk about what this question was, but we can solve it sort of purely algebraically. Pythagorean identity is going to help us. Remember the Pythagorean identity says that sine squared plus cos squared theta equals one. Um, now remember that says sine theta all squared plus cos theta all squared equals one. Good. So now that we've got a relationship between sine theta and cos theta, if we know one of them, we can find the other one. That's what the question's about. So uh, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one. Now we've got a sine theta of 0 0.4. So sine squared theta is going to be 0 0.4 squared. And this is cos squared theta, and that's equal to one. Okay, uh, that's uh, 0 0.16 plus cos squared theta equals one. Now I can get cos squared theta by itself. That's what I'm aiming for. So I'm gonna subtract 0 0.16 from both sides. Uh, that'll give me 0 0.84 on this side, cos squared theta. Now I don't want cos squared theta. I know cos squared theta now is 0 0.84, but I want cos theta. So to sort of get rid of the cos theta squared, cos theta squared, then I just take the square root of both sides. So that'll be cos theta, because square root of cos squared theta is cos theta, and the square root of 0 0.84, and I'm going to say plus or minus. Now, this is where you need to stop and think, because we've got a square root, and square roots always have plus or minuses on them. But look at this question. We know that sine theta is equal to 0 0.4 and theta is between 0 and 90. We know that our answer is definitely going to be in quadrant 1. And if our answer is definitely in quadrant 1, cos of any angle in quadrant 1 is going to be positive, C-A-S-T. So this negative answer doesn't make sense. So we can just write a little note here that says disregard negative. Okay, now we can just use our positive answer. Cos theta equals whatever the square root of um, 0 0.84 is. So it looks like it's about 0 0.917. Okay, so uh, that's using the Pythagorean identity. If you know one of them, sine theta equals 0 0.4, you can find the other one, cosine theta. Uh, we could like take the inverse of cos and 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 find like uh, what theta actually was if we wanted to. Um, just before we go, I might just add one small complication to the question. So here's my small complication. Um, if I know sine theta is equal to 0 0.4 and theta is between 0 and 90, instead of finding cos theta, why don't I find tan theta? Now we can still use the Pythagorean identity for this, um, even though you can't see tan in the Pythagorean identity, but we can find sine, or we're told sine, uh, we can find cos using the Pythagorean identity, and you should all know that tan theta is equal to, um, make sure we get this in the right order, sine theta over cos theta. So if you ever asked a question like this, it's pretty straightforward. If you know one, you can find the other using Pythagor uh, the Pythagorean identity, and then you can just sub in your two answers, 0 0.4 over 0 0.917, and now we'll know tan theta.
and that's uh, 0 0.436. Okay, uh, that's using the Pythagorean identity. If you know one of them, you find the other two.